Okay, just going to show you a battery I'm about to put into a device. The brand is Varta, and the model of battery is CR2450. And I bought this on Amazon. You can obviously buy this in many other shops. Uh, the advert I went for on Amazon said you could get 10 of these for three pounds, four pence. See, it says 10 times. Okay, so I thought I was getting 10 of those for three quid. When it arrived, I actually got one. So I contacted the seller and I said, your advert says 10 times, but I only got one and they refunded me. So basically I managed to get this battery <laughs> for free. If I, once you've, once you've cut it open, turn it over and you can see what it says, three volts. And the reason I need it is um, one of the batteries in my car key fob um, isn't working. And that's got an old Panasonic one in there, so I'm going to replace that. The instructions in my car manual tell me how to do that. Just had to use a little screwdriver. So this is also a little advert for how to change uh, Volvo car key for batteries. So I'm trying to hold the camcorder and film everything at once. Anyway, when, when, when the um, key fob is shut, if I put it back on, I'll show you actually. If I press that right way down, that's what it looks like. Can you see there's a tiny little gap there at the top? near the key part so then you just got to slot a small get get the thinnest screwdriver you can possibly find let me attempt to film that uh, and it needs to be really small even even this smallest screwdriver i could find is hardly going to fit in there so you might just have to find something else you could wedge in there and open up with like maybe the end of a pair of tweezers or something anyway get the end in there and it just pops off simple as can be uh, and then is there a way, how do you get that out of there? Uh, if you just press the battery, it kind of tilts up. Does it come out easily? No, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just press the battery down on one end and it tilts up. And then try and use your nail to get it out. Okay, so this is going to be the old dead battery. That's what it looks like inside, if you want to see. And then get the new battery. Yeah. You can actually see how the, the key part is still on the side of the battery, uh, key fob I mean. So you can still, um, even if you, your battery's got no power, you can still get into your car by using uh, this part. Okay, so there we go. Pop, oops, pop that back on. And I'm not going to press anything because obviously you've got lock, unlock, that's to unlock the boot, that's uh, to activate the hazard warning light I believe, I uh, don't know what that one is, something to do with the lights, never used it. Anyway, and when I bought the car I've got, I've got, I've got two keys. And I'll just explain, this is a new device I've just bought called a Rescue Me. So watch a separate video I'm going to make. This is something I think every car driver should have in their car. It's a way to cut your seatbelt off if, you, if you've if been in an accident and your seatbelt won't come undone. It's also a way to shatter the windscreen, uh, not the windscreen, the side door glass in case, you know, the, the electric uh, windows are no longer working and you, you're stuck in a car, maybe there's a fire started. So you can cut your seatbelt and you can smash the glass and get out. Uh, watch my separate video for that. Anyway. That's how to use a Varta CR2450 battery and how to replace the battery in a car's uh, key fob remote control thing. Okay. And as I said, watch my separate video for how to use a Rescue Me device. Right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.